Well, hello friends and welcome back. In this video, I wanna talk a little bit and show the cleaning of the Fluval 207, which I have over here on this 33 long. That is my Cory Paradise tank. And I'm gonna show what the filter looks like after three, or excuse me, six months of not cleaning it. So stick around for that. So the primary purpose of this video is just to show you what a Fluval 207 looks like on a decently high stock tank after six months of continuous use. And um, spoiler alert, the verdict is that it performs very well. Um, if you want to see a video of uh, my initial impressions of this filter, you can check that out and I'll try to link it up above. Um, but it it wasn't terribly dirty. It is dirty. I mean, the sponge here is saturated, so it definitely needed cleaning, and that's probably where I was noticing some detritus coming out of the filter. It was probably where it was coming from. Uh, as I pointed out in previous videos, the design of this filter is very user-friendly, and the cartridges that they use in these filters are probably one of the best designs out of the filters that I've used, the canister filters that I've used. Um, it's just very user friendly and a very approachable design. It's easy to maintain. It's easy to disconnect the thing. Uh, it's just easy all around and it performs really well. And ironically, you have to pay attention to when to clean this filter because it doesn't seem like the flow on these filters decreases all that much as the sponges get saturated with waste and detritus. So pay attention to your output nozzle and if you notice anything shooting out of it occasionally, maybe you're messing with something, it might be an indication that the filter needs to be maintained and cleaned out because it's getting full. And like I said, uh, I don't notice too much decrease in the flow, maybe a subtle decrease, but overall this filter maintains its flow pretty well. And if you watch some other videos, it does have some sort of bypass apparently. I to be honest, I'm not quite sure exactly how that works. But all in all, this filter for me gets an A, maybe an A plus, and it performed really well over a six months six months period without being cleaned. And if we're being honest, the primary reason you want a canister filter is that you're not wanting to maintain the filter on a weekly or bi-weekly or monthly basis. You want the filter to go a significant amount of time between intervals, cleaning intervals. Otherwise, canister filter is not worth it because it's going to be more cleaning involved than a hang on the back or a sponge filter or some other form uh, <clears throat> of filtration. So all in all, A+. Plus. So this filter hadn't been cleaned in six months and uh, I wasn't noticing too much of a problem, but I was no what I did notice with this particular filter is that um, anytime I was messing around with like cleaning the pre-sponge there, the pre-filter, and it would increase the flow output, I would see some crap shooting out of the uh, output. So I knew that the filter was probably getting saturated with waste, and it was probably time to go ahead take it off, give it a good cleaning, and put it back. So uh, this tank is doing well. The filter is nice and clean. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for checking in. Bye-bye.